Well, this is a new picture. Well, well, well. Agate. Dita. Schmidt. What kind of giant robots? I wonder. Neat. Neat. I like it. All right. Back in the game. We're playing, of course, The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. <laughs> so we just did. Um, nope. There we go. Uh, we just did our two bonding events with Gaius and. Um, useless. So now I think it is time to go check on our little Altina over here. Hey, Altina. What you doing? <gasps> Let's look at that little black rabbit she's got in her hands. William forced this on me. Let's take it back for her last field exercise. It's a toy camera. Can I the countryside? Oh, well, that's adorable. Do you like it? Functionally speaking, it's no different to an Arcus. Fix, take a bunch and show them to me next time. I ignore it, maybe you've <gasps> problematic. Alright. Yeah. We'll hang out with Altina. I'm curious to see what sort of shots you can take. The toy camera. Wandering around and taking pictures of our school and the city. It's 11 o'clock. That's what the clock says. 11. <gasps> Doggo! Sandy working on the dirt, planting those strawberries and other plants. He's gonna have his little trowel. <laughs> oh, there's Mint and Valimar. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you did. Picture of Reen, eh? Oh, not bad. Yeah. Just the picture functions are limited. Christmas is a bad gift, all things considered. Ooh, that's not a bad thought. Aww. Thank you for giving me this camera. As always, she's extremely pushy. Sex like my older sister, but I suppose I can't stop her. I mean, there's a degree that is cute, and there's a degree that, you know, people should respect boundaries. I'm gonna still qualify this as cute. First expression, well, pictures are soothing to look at. Class 7, the other two at the branch campus. Yeah. Uh, yes, maybe so. You're turning into a real human. With human female feelings. The old group photo. Yeah. She's smiling! I think they will be thrilled to see, see it too. Boom, 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 boom. 
Because we're going to go in the separate ways. Oh, that is super adorable. You, Altina, are adorbs. Look at that. There we go. But I suppose it's good for record keeping. I don't know if Mila will like it, but I suppose I'll send it to her. Yeah, I think she'll love it too. Alright. Uh, let's see, who else do we need to chat with? Oh, the others are lurking in the school. Hey, buddy. Cicada season! Are you gonna eat them? You Question looking for them. ingredients? You don't know what he's doing. So I had a thought, a further thought, about some of my thoughts. Ah. It's 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 like a a turducken of thinking. Uh, my thoughts on the matter of uh, is this the cafeteria? How this third game comes across to me differently than the first game, and I and I, I went and I looked back at the first game. Okay. Right? So chapter one. Cold Steel one, right? You go to Keldick, and there's like some corrupt soldiers and policemen there, I believe. But uh, they were they were totally gonna gun you down to the forest before uh, I believe Claire comes in to save the day, right? Then there was the uh, you go to the you go to uh, Berea Hard. Actually, let's bring up the map. I can kind of show it off. Uh, uh. Yeah, so that's Keldick. Then we went to Berea Hard, right? Machias gets kidnapped off the streets by corrupt noble um, officers. Because, you know, his dad's all fancy pants, right? And they rough him up a bit. It's not good for him. And we have to bust him out of jail. Right. Chapter 3. You go up to Nord. And while in Nord, the uh, uh, crow's little, little terrorist group uses a, um, tries to start a war by firing rockets, um, into, uh, covered. Alright, almost, yeah. Almost starting a war between these two countries, killing people, etc, etc, etc. Um, but luckily able to stop the mercs who are, you know, who were there. Alright. Uh, now we've got, um, Heimdall. Alright. Mackie's his dad gets hurt. Your sister and the princess get kidnapped. And we're not for uh, the the leader of the, the the organization. C. Showing up at just the right time. Uh, they might have killed one of them. Right? Things kind of got out of hand. Um, then. Yeah, there's, there's the whole uh, Grelia Fortress I incident. Right? Just like in this game, they kind of show off uh, you at Gorelia Fortress, uh, try to intervene and stop the cannons from firing on Crossbell. Right? Uh, in this one, once again, you, you just manage to stop them before they can fire the weapons into Crossbell City uh, to kill the Chancellor. Right? <laughs> and finally, right? Go up to Roar, it's a terrorist thing, it's all very schemy. And then the game ends with an assassination here. At the start of the Civil War. Now, I'd like to compare that to the third game. We go to Sutherland, and there's some robots, uh, but they're not, they haven't hurt anyone. They've just kind of been kind of seen. And then, uh... We, we, we help ourselves down to uh, uh, Hamel, where the villains are very politely waiting for us to come and fight them, and nobody's in any danger. Then chapter two, right? Uh, we go to... What was it? Uh, no, not there. Just there. What was it we went to? 
cross spell. There it is. We got a cross spell, right? Again, the uh, they they make they kind of make an attack uh, on on, but not really. On the uh, the tower, where the big old fancy pants meeting is. They get to the top where they're waiting again. Oh, but they the, that airship's on fire. But then it's not on fire because it was all a trick. Then they smash it just to show off, and then they scuttle off. To their little, their little secret base, and again, politely wait for you to show up and catch them. Um, finally, chapter three, right over here, in Lamar. We've got, uh, you know, we, we we get all the shans going, and finally, right, the survivors of Northambria, right, the Northern Jaegers. They launch an attack with the aid of Orobrus, stealing four. Supremely powerful railway cannons, right? And they start lobbing shells at Ordis, hitting the bay. But uh, that's all they do. They they shell it for at least an hour, probably more. And they don't hurt anyone. Uh, and they go to this naval fortress, and they're mostly just there to get picked on. And they're waiting for you to. Sh they're literally waiting for you to show up and give them a battle. So they can have an honorable death. Um, but at no time were they actually trying to threaten anyone in the city. And there was minimum casualties according to uh, Bardius. Which depending on their meaning may not mean even anyone really died. The Northern Yeagers themselves arrested maybe? Not sure. Full details. It's all secret. But it's like I can't help but compare... What happened in chapter one, or game one, which yeah, some of these are all part of a scheme, but like they weren't intentionally going out of their way to not, like th the whole shelling thing. It was played up as a big deal, but it was clear there was, you know, looking back it's clear there was never any threat. There was never th a threat there, there wasn't a threat here, and there wasn't a threat here. And it's it's weird because I think that's it's it's done the game a disservice. Uh, they they should have followed through. Cause now I'm like, I don't know if I can find things dangerous anymore. Flower check, dry east check. Morica, it's all very hard. What you making, Yuna? Ooh, pretzels. That braided, braided bread thing. Popular, all right. How many snacks eat during the summer festival? Mm -hmm. Like I enjoy the game, uh, but there's little things they could definitely have tweaked that would have made chapter one and chapter two feel serious and dangerous. And the way they went through chapter three. Like, you know, there's, a, there's that whole rule of three. Now I just kind of... Exp now, now I can't take threats seriously. I mean, maybe they'll surprise me. Whatever goes on in Heimdall. But, uh... Mm, we'll find out. Mm. I'm making it. Ooh. Yay! Pretzels! Yeah, we'll help make pretzels. I made pretzels once. I helped make them once. Gathered ingredients for them. I went to a sh on a shopping trip once, you know. A different crossbell. Really? Okay. Are they big? Small? I had a pretzel in Germany. It was delicious. Mm -hmm. Start a steady rhythm. What? How? Well, all right. Knee, knee, just like this. Choose the whole batch. Yeah, little pretzels.
Dun did them in honey? Hmm. Little honey pretzels. I don't think I've ever made a pretzel. The harmony of sweet and salty. Let's see, this came from the Empire of Evil. Looks like Carl's gave it a little twist by adding honey and other spices. Yeah, that's kind of how a lot of foods work. Yeah, this thing looks neat and easy to make. Let's just use our own local stuff to make it ours. Hadn't merged. I don't know. Trade would have done it, I think. I don't know if the... I'm not sure I'd call it your, what, what, what's happening. A cultural merging, Rain. I mean, uh, you're, you're, I admire your, your, your efforts, you know. I don't think it'll work, but I admire the sentiment. And now, I feel like maybe there's a future. Where people from both Crossbell and Erebonia can laugh together as friends. It's just weird to think this attitude, as, especially since you know Erebonia invaded and conquered her country. And like, c could they not have been friends with Crossbell being independent? Well, I mean, it's, it's only been a couple couple weeks, maybe a month or two. So I want to use this opportunity to be head pat. <laughs> Proud of you for saying that. This is imperial as your as your instructor. It's good that you are now accepting that Crossbell is forever part of the Empire and will never be free. All right, maybe maybe that's a bit much. I'll do it. Anything I can to help you achieve whatever you... Uh, don't make those promises, Reem. Uh, darn it, Instructor! I was so close to saying it! Uh, you're so frustrating! Just say it! N nothing. Hm. I'm not sure either. Uh, but I suppose it is just one of the tropes. They just can't say it. Maximum bond. Mm -hmm. Just gonna try the first thing, especially Jessica. Taste these cross belly and pretzels. Yeah, yes, they are. Uh, the summer festival. The special events. Cafeteria is not usually this empty. Mm -hmm. right, let's check our map. Let's hit up. The dorm! We'll go chat with Toa. She needs some attention, I feel. Hey, Toa. What you up to, Toa? My astronomical te telescope. We're from back home. Alright. Yeah, astronomy lesson. Ooh, clear stars. Nice. Try looking through the telescope now. Oh, are they gonna need it to, to look around the school or around the city? And spy on people. Uh? Let's go 
completely broken. Aww. That's too bad. It's taller than you. Did you say this was precious to you? I know my grand. Aww. He was a smart and kind of man. Uh, if you recall, Toa's parents, I believe, were... Scholars? Grandparents were scholars. Yeah. This was the director of the museum in Heimdall. The Imperial Museum. I like museums. Let's put that out there. Did his hobby on the side while he did his research. The stars have been his own little world. Excited and endlessly curious. Show you in the suits all those beautiful stars. Fix the telescope. Yeah. Let's drop some leaves. Yeah, we can do this. Just gotta polish that rusty knob. Place the lens. We'll be good to go. Those not model trains, so don't screws and small bits to check Nine Valley for. Just craft some training was exactly the need to fix the lens. There we go. Perfect. We are minting Pablo big time. Stiff. Glad to give up. Oh, she's getting all emotional. Grandfather's telescope is all fixed up. Yeah. I tried so hard to fix it. If not for you, thank you so much, Reed. Mm -hmm. Oh, spending the night staring at stars with Toa. Romantic. This evening. All right. Uh, ooh, I if that'll be a, have a follow-up scene. I'm curious now. Mm -hmm. Alright, should be fun. Uh, let's then check on... Let's go to the hangar. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk with Ash and his staring at the bikes next time, I think. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you have a good night, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.